Teresa Barnett is the mother of three sons, all involved in scouting. She became involved in the popcorn sale by becoming a unit colonel and then became the district colonel for the Ozark Trails Council in Springfield, Missouri. Over the four years Teresa has been involved, the council's gross popcorn sales have increased by 42% to $1,272,376. The average per unit sales increased by 50.7%. And more importantly, she has distinguished herself through her passion for helping scouts and scouting. Your typical popcorn time takes, takes place over four, four weeks. And so what I ask of my unit colonels and of my parents, it is if you're willing to give 110% over the next four weeks, then your, your scout and our, our pack or our troop is gonna benefit tremendously. And so um, if, if we put forth this effort, then what's going to happen is we're going to be able to just enjoy our scouting process, our scouting events, our scouting activities throughout the rest of the year. Four weeks out of the whole year, we can do anything for a short amount of time. When it comes to a leader's point of view, um, obviously the leaders need the money to keep the program going. Um, if the program is solid, then, um, then you're doing a lot of activities and activities cost money and so that's, the, that's usually the vehicle. But if, if the leaders go at popcorn as though it's just a fundraiser, then the parents flip that switch in their head and it's just a fundraiser. And so one of the key things that, adult, that leaders can do when they're talking to their parents is to address the qualities and the character traits that we're trying to build. Um, if, if we're trying to um, talk about communication, possibly with our Cub Scouts, it's a communication belt loop. Um, there's a computer's belt loop. And so there's with the internet um, sales that you have with Trails In, you can actually tie in the computer belt loop and you can also tie in the communications belt loop very easily. Um, there are um, speech op opportunities um, in the Weeblos, um, uh, Weeblos book. There is, um, for the communications Weeblow pen, um, you have to give a speech, a five minute speech. And so one of the things that they can do during popcorn is the, the kid not only does a five minute speech, but he's on his feet for two hours selling popcorn. And so that's what I think unit leaders need to understand is that popcorn can be a, uh, a vehicle to earn um, different awards and earn different belt loops. What troops are able to do then and at, the, at that point too with the, with the popcorn is they're able to start maybe branching out and doing some salesman merit badge, some entrepreneur merit badge. Um, I believe the American Business Merit Badge, if um, that's the correct, correct name of it, has, you have to work a business for six months and Trails In has the online program. And so that scout could actually start working the online and pretty much get close to six months of, of popcorn sales that can count for that American Business Merit Badge. And so then you're taking your, your fundraiser and actually turning it into a practical life application. And that's what we really want to do with popcorn. If unit leaders could begin to coach these kids early on to start setting those goals and to start um, understanding um, the benefits of setting goals and, and what it feels like to be successful, then those kids gain that confidence more and more and more to, to the point that when they are Boy Scouts, the goal setting is a, a second nature so that when it comes to then finally they're going for their Eagle and trying to plan out their Eagle project and, and, and then going forward with their Eagle project, it's second nature. I told them that I, I really wanted them to try to do individual goals at $650. And the reason for that is, is that when a child and a family, when they sell $650, they're able to help pay for summer camp. They're able to see different things paid for within the scouting program. Um, they're able to get a higher prize bracket, so to speak. And so, but to go at the 650 is overwhelming. And oftentimes um, parents look at that and go, there is no way on earth I'm ever gonna be able to sell $650. Because they think they're gonna have to be doing it and they don't understand that the, it's gonna be the kids that are gonna be doing it. 
And so what we started to do is we actually broke it down, um, the 650, so that at the $100 level, that's going to your neighborhood, door to door. At the second level is the $200, $200 level. And at this level, that is where they are going to their family and friends. And that's pretty easy, that's pretty attainable. The third level is at the 350. And that's two booth times. I, I try to have my kids sell at, at booths um, just because of the communications and the speech that it, it allows them, as well as it um, gets them, it, it's more visible in the community. Um, so they have to do two booth times. And on average, they can sell about $175 every two hours. That's an average, so sometimes a little bit less, sometimes it's more. And so with those two different um, booth times put together, that's $350, and that adds up to the $650. Now how you get the kids totally on board is each week as a unit leader, you want to encourage these kids. You want to have inner den competitions, you want to have inner patrol competitions. You want to try to build the momentum so that the that the drive to sell popcorn it just drives itself and then that way you've got that natural competitive boy thing going on which is really important and, and that in and of itself um, drives the kids to do better and better the other thing is that 70 percent comes back to local scouts there's not a fundraiser that can really trumpet that <music>